Welcome to pre-math. In this video tutorial, we have got these three squares of different dimensions as you can see in this figure. And moreover, the height difference over here is one unit and the height difference over here is two units. And their base length is 11 units. And now we are going to calculate the area of this green this blue and yellow squares please don't forget to give thumbs up to this video so let's go ahead and get started with the solution and here's the very first thing we are going to do since we are dealing with the squares so the side length of each box are going to be same so let's suppose that the side length of this green box is x units if this side is x, this side is going to be x, this side is going to be x, and this side is going to be x as well. And now we know that this whole length is x, and this length is 1, so then this length, this height is going to be x minus 1. So if the side of this blue box is x minus 1, then this side is going to be x minus 1, this side is going to be x minus 1, and this side is going to be x minus 1 as well. And now we know that this whole height, this length is x minus 1, and this uh, height or length is 2, then this length is going to be x minus 1 and then minus 2. So that is going to give us x minus 3. So for the yellow box, this uh, side turns out to be x minus 3. If this side is x minus 3, then this side is going to be x minus 3 as well. This side is going to be x uh, minus 3 and this side is going to be x minus 3 as well and now we know that this whole base length which is 11 is equal to the sum of these individual lengths this one x and then this uh, x minus 1 and then this x minus 3 so therefore we can write this one x first and then plus uh, this uh, x minus 1 and then plus uh, this uh, x minus 3 equals to this uh, total length which is 11. So if we add these uh, like terms we're gonna get 3x minus 4 equals to 11. So let's go ahead and add 4 on both sides. This is gone. So 3x turns out to be 15. Let's divide both sides by 3. So that means our x value turns out to be 5 units. So this x value for this green box is going to be, this side is going to be 5 units. And this side for the blue box is going to be 5 minus 1 is going to be simply 4 units. And for this yellow box, 5 minus 3 means this side is going to be 2 units. So thus the side length of this green square turns out to be 5 the side length for this blue square turns out to be 4 and the side length for this yellow square turns out to be 2 as you can see over here as well. And here's our final step. Let's go ahead and calculate the area of each of these squares now. And now let's recall the area of a square formula. Area equal to S square where S represents the side length of this square. So let's focus on this green square. The area of this green square is going to be, we know this uh, side length is 5. So this is going to become 5 square. So area turns out to be 25 square units. And now let's focus on this blue square. The side length of the blue square is 4 units. So area is going to be 4 and then square 
so area turns out to be 16 square units and finally for this yellow square so the area is going to be two square so area turns out to be four square units so thus the area of this green square turns out to be 25 square units for this blue square is 16 square units and finally yellow square it is four square units thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye